Shaitanirajim, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, Assalamu Alaikum. Uh, I've been thinking for almost a week as how should I go for the online lectures and uh, after thinking for a long time I decided to go for YouTube because uh, there are a number of reasons for that and which I'm going to discuss one by one. First of all is that not all the people can be present at the same time for the classes so uh, you will have the facility to listen to my lecture whenever you wish you will not have to come at the same time if the class is going on you will have to come at that time only and um, then the classes will be very long as well because there will be question answer session so the second reason is if you don't understand anything you can you're welcome you can ask me by commenting in the section below and uh, I'll write down your comments and make a list of those comments and uh, your questions and I'll answer the questions afterwards in the next lecture say for example if I'm going to uh, deliver a lecture on uh, prissy writing uh, and if still if you've got any questions then you can ask me in the comment section and I'll make a list and I'll uh, make another lecture naming Prissy Writing Part 2 questions and answers and then there I'll be uh, I'll answer questions whatever you do not understand. The third thing that a number of students are living in the villages and they do not have the direct the, the direct access to the internet or very good internet facilities uh, so if there are sometimes the signals are very weak so if you go for the online class the, the, the online classes which um, uh, which go for uh, one time only uh, if there is no good internet there you would not be able to understand sometimes the certain sentences you will not be able to hear and um, you cannot Again, afterwards, you would not you'd not be able to repeat it. So in that way, you will miss certain parts of the lectures. But in this case, on YouTube, you can just listen to it again and again, or you can either download it from the uh, from the internet and you can listen to my lecture if you do not understand it for the first time. Another point is, if you do not understand anything, you're welcome. You can ask me questions either or if you've got any problems regarding my uh, style or method of teaching you can send your messages if you are uh, kind of reluctant to ask me you can ask the CR of the class to uh, tell me what whatever problems you're facing so I'll try to get rid of those problems or I'll try to what do I'll try to make it uh, easier for you if still you get any problem regarding that. The fifth thing is that the topics that I'm going to discuss, I'll provide handouts before uh, the lectures. I'll give the handouts to the CRs and they can send those handouts to all the students. For this, you need to make uh, uh, groups on WhatsApp and you can share your documents there. Say, for example, if I'm going to deliver a lecture on Prissy writing, I'll send a paragraph to the CR and he will send that particular passage to all the students and there'll be no problem. You will just listen, you can just open the paragraph and you can uh, play my lecture and you can just listen to it. Still, if you've got any problem, you're welcome to discuss it with the CR and he will tell me. Sixth point is, uh, you need to subscribe this YouTube channel uh, so that if you uh, start getting a kind of if we start getting any funds we will or we can help the poor people with those funds and um, in the end I'd like to say that I'll try my best uh, to make it as easy as possible for you so you, so that you might not find any problem uh, just take it easy I'll try to make it as easy as possible because you cannot just go for uh, the classes because the classes are off you cannot just um, go to the, the university because um, and uh, at the same time uh, say for example that in the class there is a different atmosphere you can ask me questions directly or there is a whiteboard you can just go and write down whatever you wish you do not understand but here there is uh, we've got limited resources in that case in that way so 
what I'm going to do is that I'll try to make it as easy as possible. You'll not find it difficult because keeping in mind the ability of the students as well as the problems we are facing right now, uh, I don't think that you're going to have any problem. And if you do not understand my English, I'll try to uh, speak as slow as possible. And at the same time, I'll, uh, if you still uh, are unable to understand whatever I speak, I'll try to deliver lecture in Urdu as well. So that you might, the most important thing is that uh, uh, I'm going to uh, make you understand the things, right? So still, if you've got any problem, you can ask me and uh, Please don't hesitate to ask me any questions. If you've got any questions, you're always welcome. Thank you very much. Allah Hafiz.